Hello everyone. Welcome to the Mooting series by Lopit. My name is Prayam Jain and today we are going to talk about jurisdiction in international moot courts. Jurisdiction means the authority to adjudicate. The international legal framework is based on the idea of sovereignty of states, which simply means that for laws and decisions to be binding upon a state, there has to be consent. Consent can be shown in two for major ways. One, ratification of a statute and second, through unilateral acts such as declarations where a state expressly accepts the court's jurisdiction. Due to this status quo, majority of international moot court competitions do not delve into the question of jurisdiction. However, there are certain issues which are important and needed to be understood in this context. The first issue is of admissibility of a dispute, which simply means exhaustion of local remedies at the domestic level. It is a procedural requirement which is well recognized in international law. It is principally, principally provided in the International Covenant for Civil and Political Rights. The ICCPR in its optional protocol, Article 5, 5 Clause 2 A and B talks about exhaustion of local remedies. Major issues which engage in the mooting series when we talk about admissibility are effectiveness of the remedy and satisfaction of the victim criteria. The second issue with respect to jurisdiction is the subject matter. Over here, we are going to take a look at two major courts, the International Court of Justice and the International Criminal Court. Coming to the ICJ, it has two types of jurisdiction, one contentious and second advisory. The jurisdiction of the ICJ is defined in Chapter 2 of its statute. Article 36 talks about the jurisdiction of the International Court of Justice. It says that the court has jurisdiction over four kinds of matters. Matters which are relating to 1. Interpretation of a treaty. two questions of international law, three, breach of international obligations, and four, reparations, their nature and extent. Furthermore, Clause 5 of Article 36 empowers the court to rule over questions and issues of its own jurisdiction. Now we proceed to the International Criminal Court. The principal instrument which determines the jurisdiction and the procedure for the ICC is the Rome Statute. Part 2 of the Rome Statute deals with jurisdiction, admissibility and applicability in the court. Article 5 provides for jurisdiction of the court over four following acts. 1. Genocide. 2. Crimes against humanity. 3. War crimes. and 4. Crimes of aggression. This is up for today's video on jurisdiction of international moot courts. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep on following this series. Further, we request you to please like, share and subscribe these videos. Thank you.